Hey there, I'm John Siskovich. This week we have been talking about farm photo and video tips while I'm doing my linger grazing on a Saturday morning. So, and then making the videos go all week. You know how the internet works. Anyway, so I'm about to shoot some broiler photographs and I, you know, this is my first batch of birds of the year. I wanna let people know that they're out. I wanna gain some context to my farm in the background. Oh my goodness, there we go, boom. And then, uh, so yeah, we're gonna take some, we're gonna take some broiler photos right now. You're gonna see, I got one big first piece of advice, aside from actually take out your camera and take the photographs, but we're gonna walk over the before and after of that piece of advice and the effect that it has and what you can do to use it in your storytelling. So I just moved these birds out, and we're not gonna talk about lighting in this one. Uh, we're gonna talk about broilers on grass and the effect that it has when you move them and, and relationship to when you shoot your photo. Now, if we look right now, not everything's completely trampled and messy and terrible. They still have some grass, they're young. But when they're huge, this will all become, you could do two a day moves because this will all become like that, trampled and poopy. Well, we want that, right? We want the grass short enough where the poop works its way in between the grass, long enough where there's enough food for the birds. Um, and yeah, like this is, a, this is a good look to come out to first thing in the morning. And for me, the farmer. Now for customers, I, those birds are getting this grass right here. Look at that. I planned for this. I want those birds to have some delicious forage. So I could do a pre-move photo, just like I did, and say, look at, look at everybody. My birds are getting fresh grass. And you can barely see their heads. But instead what I'm gonna do is stop the recording, move the chicken tractors, and then go in before after I move them, before I give them fresh feed. Because these Cornish cross are voracious eaters. And they're just like stupid dinosaurs. And as soon as you put out fresh feed, that's what they're going after. I'm also finding on my linger grazing that my feeder is a little too high because they can't reach the bottom of it without rubbing their neck on it too much. So that's a note. I'm going to lower their feeder when I move the chicken tractor. So let's move the birds, get them on some fresh grass, get them away from their poop, and then I have plenty of story to tell, but we're gonna tell that story in a minute. All right, so we just moved the birds and here's our story to tell. We're zoomed out here and we have fresh moved birds. We have our barns and buildings and our lush, beautiful pasture that these birds are growing up on. Now, this is uh, 80 birds. I've done 2,400 birds in a season. Uh, I'm smaller this season because of that guy right there. That addition. We have a new part on our building, a new canning line for our brewery. So that's my scale. The story that I want to tell is that these birds exist in this beautiful place. When I move them, they leave their poop behind. Look at that, that's poop. And you know who didn't have to shovel it? Me. You know who doesn't have to live in it? Them. And then when I go around to the front, this is the most glorious thing ever. Because they'll chew on the grass all day, right? But those bugs and gnats, and crickets, and worms, and whatever, spiders, sorry spiders, they're down here and the birds are going after them. And they got fresh grass. And if I get up on this level, I zoom out and show all the space that the birds have that they're growing up on. And again, the longer you stay in one place without moving, 
the more the birds will spread out and not be as scared of you. So say you move the chickens, you've moved all your birds, and on the last, after the last move of the last tractor, you go inside and you take a picture. Boom. And then you zoom in, that nice chicken butt, and you take a picture. And then you look over here and you're like, they're freaking out. They're all like, wanna go to the back corner. So I'm gonna wait a minute. And look, they're turning around. And now if I wasn't talking, they might do that even faster. Let's see this hunt and peck action we got going on in the jungle. Yeah, that's what we want to capture. You know, 60, 30 to 60 second reel for Instagram or Facebook or whatever with the short videos. A longer video if we want to talk about how our birds are raised and put it up on YouTube as a video hosting service. Or you can take those photographs of your birds now spread out. Somebody found something good. Like a, he just stole it. Oh, man. He just yoinked the bug right out of the other one's beak. And you'll see, like, somebody will find a cricket. Like that guy there. And before he can eat it, there's poachers. And they're endlessly fascinating. I mean, chickens are awesome. They're little dinosaurs. And you can line up a shot right on the ground. I gotta adjust the selfie stick. Where I got grass in the foreground, chicken in the background, just like we talked about earlier this week with foreground and background options. Or, uh, yeah, photo options. The other nice thing about the Siskovich chicken tractor, and you guys, we're gonna have to walk outside, and then we can wrap up this video. Oh. Grass, buildings, ducks, greenhouse, chicken tractors. The nice thing about the chicken tractors, look at this. They're not unhappy, the door's open. They're just living life at the other end of the chicken tractor, letting me shoot some video. These white shelters are big light boxes to give you even lighting. I'm gonna make an entirely separate video out of that, I'm deciding, because this one's getting a little long. When you optimize for happiness, to give your birds, your animals, your plants, your bees, a great life, you will find a lot of natural beauty in more natural management practices. And if you're anything like me, this will bring you joy, you will wanna capture it, and you will wanna share it with other people and that will help you grow your business because you are sharing the practices that add value to your products in a context of space, fresh air, transparency, and relationship building. And that will help you build resiliency into your farm marketing. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Take care of yourselves, and if you can, someone else too. Till next time, I'll see you out in the field.